Welcome to World Book Night. It's Paula here. And I've always been a prolific reader from I was a child. I've always enjoyed books. Um, mainly as a child I would have read a lot of fiction, but as I became um, an adult I moved more over to non-fiction. But one of the books I loved as a child were the Tell Me Why books. There were a series of them published by Hamlin. And basically the format is a question and answer. Themes included the world around us, how it began, for example, human civilization, the human body, how other creatures live and how things are made. And basically, as you can see from this drawing, this one is, when did people fish and freeze our food. And you can see the illustration of the Eskimo. I mean, as you can see, the book is very old. And as you can tell this from the illustrations. But basically it was broken down into nice short segments which would have captured a child's imagination and attention span. And I would have read these cover to cover and I loved them. As you can tell, this was pre-Google era and it was when you had wanted information, you had to look up encyclopedias and go to the library. So these books were very valuable in that you didn't have to go to the library to have every question answered. So if you were a child and you wanted to know why, why, but why does this happen? These books gave you a lot of the answers. And I mean, here's a perennial favourite. Why do some people have curly hair? And it explains all about the pigment in your hair for the hair colour. And also explains about the type of hair. Whether you have flat hair, short hair. And why some people's hair is naturally curly and others are straight. And as women, we all know, you always want the hair you don't have. So I wish you all a happy World Book Night and I wish you all the joy of reading and a lifetime of books to enjoy. Bye for now.